Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanne and I'm going to share with you what I got from the grocery store and one mail order that came in and I'm going to show you this. This is just the box from where I placed an order with U-Haul for some boxes because I think I might have found mattresses. I'll need to decide if I want to put a payment down on them and find out how much they'll cost to be delivered from another party. Um, or if I want to do something online and maybe do a split in four, um, I just had to make sure that the mattresses would fit on my bed rail. So that's what this is because y'all know that I have boxes in the other room. Um, some things I've needed to go through, break down, continue sending things to the Goodwill. This is to make space in there so I can lay my bed rails down for the mattresses. And all this is, is just, um, I think I ordered two or three medium boxes and then six or seven small boxes they're u-haul boxes and you know they're a pretty good size the small boxes are big enough to put like small appliances in like your mixers and your coffee makers and things like that so i like to use those for storage they have handles and i got the paper tape so not for moving just for reorganizing and making some room so we're going to share with you what i got from the grocery store so I did go out to the grocery store to get some um, steak and some salad. And I wanted the salad um, because I had said that I had a taste for some feta cheese and um, salad and the grape, is it grape? Grape sized tomatoes, I don't know. But I felt like a salad that was going to be separate from the steak, but I can also make a little salad to go with the steak. And y'all see what I'm saying here? They have really gone up on these steaks. A steak like this used to be like $7, six something tops. Now they cost as much as they cost in the restaurant. And at least the restaurant cooks the steak and it comes with a side. So they didn't have any good cuts in the meat department. They were $12. They were a little bit bigger than these, but they didn't look so great. Um, they look like what was left over from the day because I'm just getting home. It is after five and I left at 3.15. So some of this is what I was supposed to be getting and other parts of it is because I was hungry. I went to Sonic to see if I could get the Asian popcorn chicken that I like and a vanilla Coke. They didn't have that no more. They said they got rid of it and that's their most popular one, especially with the French fries. So then I went across the street thinking I'd go in KFC and get a sandwich. I wasn't really feeling KFC, but it said it had a sign outside that said you could only come in if you were picking up remote orders. Any to-go orders or pick-up orders, how they put it. If it was a order that you wanted to come in the store to place, you couldn't do it. And you otherwise had to go through drive through And I didn't feel like going through their drive through because there's a bunch of cars and I'm not in a car. So... That's why some of this is from hunger. So I did get some eggnog. Now it is October, but around here, guys, you cannot find eggnog um, right at before and after Thanksgiving. You can't find it. So this steak I'll cook tonight. I'll make a little light salad to go with that. I got some eggnog, which I won't be saving this until the holidays. I'll be drinking it now, but it will quell my want for some. I got some whole milk. For the coffee maker and i got these little belvita biscuits now there's normally you get five in a pack um i think they're like two dollars and some change and these for five dollars and some change you just get three extra packs and i went ahead and got this little cheese there's some townhouse crackers that are basil and tomato that will show up in a moment that's what that's for and because i'm making a steak i wanted to try some new steak seasonings i got smokehouse maple and that sounds to me, though, guys, more like it would be for barbecue. Now, I did get it from the steak seasoning part, but I think I won't use this one. I think I'll use this one because it actually is steak seasoning, uh, Montreal steak. I usually get concerned when I see 25% less sodium or any percent less sodium. I didn't see that in the store, but I usually use some type of seasoning salt and just a smidge of salt and pepper on my steak anyway, depending, so it might not matter. And I think that's it for this grouping. I'll put this stuff up and share the rest with you. So next I got a hot and spicy popcorn because guys, they were also out of the snacks I was looking for. I was looking for the Cheetos popcorn. I was looking for the Cheetos cheese puffs and 
and I was looking for, I don't know if it was white cheddar popcorn. They didn't have any of the snacks I was looking for either. They also didn't have the Smart Water Antioxidant. So I did get two of these. One of these is open because this is actually more tasty than it is hot and spicy, and I do like it. It's the um, Grippos brand, this one, and the Mike Sells brand, but I do like the way this tastes. It's like, it's not necessarily hot or spicy, but it is sort of mild, spicy, cheesy flavored, so I really do like it. I would say that an eight or nine-year-old could eat this <laughs> unless they were just super sensitive. Like, it's not as hot and spicy as, say, the... Um, pork rinds that are hot and spicy where you have to stop eating them for a minute so yeah this is really really good and i do have a bag that i've already started on here are the little crackers um townhouse that i got the little cheese for and then since i work this weekend i got a little mega sweet and spicy asian boneless strips frozen meal and then i got a supreme pizza um, I could probably eat this tomorrow, not the whole thing, of course, but it will let me cut it so that I'll have something to munch on that Friday and Saturday. So we'll pause and put this group up. So here I got three of the Milo's um, extra sweet teas. I had one of these from before and I did like it. And I bought three because a coworker friend knew about this tea and said she wanted to try it. So I got an extra one so I can take it into her on Friday. I went ahead and got another glazed donut creamer when I saw this. This is like a sweet vanilla, but because I have this coffee, um, like this honey Madagascar coffee, um, I think I might even still have some of that honey bun coffee. And I have the honey um, coffee syrup. I felt like this would be good for those. So again, this is the glazed donut. I had this before, I really did enjoy it. And today I got some creamer. I didn't wanna get the big bottles um, and I didn't wanna get the big bottle of the sweet cream that I like. And as you know, I also like French vanilla. This is like my basic creamer, so I had to get that. And then I got another Alkaline 88 water because this is a big bottle, but I didn't wanna necessarily get this. I had planned on picking up about four of the smart water antioxidant but our store doesn't have any now in addition to making um, a little bit of side salad with my steak which i'll use some of this like i said i had intended to just make a salad like a salad itself as the meal and i plan on using some of the leftover um roasted chicken that i got from fresh market which as we know i got that Thursday of was it Thursday of last week yes so I need to use it up it's still good but I need to cut off pieces of it and I plan on making it into a salad but because I like to use the normal salad mix when I'm not cutting up my own salad I'll look for something like this and today I got the American blend and what's in here um, the radishes the lettuce the carrots and I'll put a little bit of cheese in this for my steak and then i also like to include a little spinach so i went ahead and got this and this is baby greens baby spinach um baby lettuces it says and then is that radicchio whatever so you see these kind this kind of mixing salads and restaurants all the time so i went ahead and got that I got that onion for my steak because I cook my steak in butter. I season it up. I cut some onion off and cook it in there. And I like feta cheese, but sometimes I will favor the tomato and basil feta cheese. And it looks like this. I love putting these on my salad. In fact, I know that when you make a Greek salad, I don't know exactly, but when I want my own mock version of a Greek salad, I will slice up some black olives, the grape tomatoes, um... I use my little salad mix and I will do um, the Italian vinaigrette. What else goes in there? Some of that red onion. But I actually like when I used to go to Zoop and get their version of Greek salad, so I do like it. However, I've never had a true Greek salad that I know of and I have never um, had any from a Greek restaurant. I mean, I don't know if Zoop is 100% Greek, but it was good nonetheless. So of course, here's my little cherry tomatoes. And then the last grocery item that I think I got was this. Watching Mrs. MKB Lady reminded me that I do like the roasted red pepper hummus. 
In fact, I got some kind of a sandwich from Zoop a while back and I thought that that greenish stuff on there was hummus. It's something else. I forgot the name of it, but then I learned that hummus, let me see, I'm gonna try to see because there was something that I shared with her and I wanna see if I was correct because I had learned, if I'm not mistaken, that hummus is made with beans. Now, I don't know if I heard somebody else say that or if I read it somewhere when I was looking up how to make it. So I'm gonna see. I don't know if I can find that on here anywhere, but I do believe that is the case. And I did share that with her, but I wanted to see if I could find it in the fine print. So let's see, I think, okay, chickpeas. So that's what it is, chickpeas. And then this is what's in there. So it's really, really good. I'll have to let her know if she don't see this video beforehand, I'll have to let her know that it's chickpeas. I knew it was some form, um, but I really thought it was beans because I was looking that up. So now I'm gonna share with you what my little nail polish order is and I'll be right back. So what I have here is in this order, I got a cuticle hand body foot scrub and it's a sugar exfoliant and I got it in the scent swirling water spout. Now I only intend to use this as a hand scrub and it says that they gave me a four ounce upgrade I guess they were out of that and this is handmade so I do again I plan to use it for my hands and maybe my feet now they gave these little candies guys and I don't understand these candies I don't even know what they are but I'll tell you this it said chili banacas I'm guessing that's how you say it right so I said oh my god I don't want hot candy I thought it would be like one of them jawbreakers or those um hot cinnamon candies but I ate one anyway it was like watermelon because I saw the watermelon on here and it was like a sour watermelon and then it was like there was hot sauce inside of it. That was the strangest thing. Now it wasn't awful, but it would definitely be a conversation piece to give someone that likes strange candies. Um, I've never had that before. So the next two things that I got, and this is for my nail stamping. That's basically what this order is. And this right here is nail stamping, as you can see. I've still got a lot of cleanup around my cuticles and what these items are, this right here is called Cuticle Guard and I got an unfragranced one, I got a um, sweet potato brown sugar one, I got an unscented one, I got cucumber and green tea and then I got white jasmine and all you do with these because a lot of people will scent them or put glitter in them is you basically put that around um, your cuticle area here, you put that around your cuticle so that you don't get this kind of stuff when you're stamping. Um, like after you do your nail polish or even before you put it all around so that when you take it off, you have to do less cleanup. Now, one of these gave me cause for concern because it was kind of like, I hope it's not drying out because these products also don't last long, but as you can see, it's got these dried pieces here already and you have to be careful with this kind of stuff because once it dries out it's really no good you have to make sure that you keep the cap on it super duper tight so i will need to be checking these i don't know which one is the one that i opened um but it had a lot of goop on it but they're still all usable and sorry because i'm holding my phone in my hand they are still all usable. So the next thing, like I said, I got the pink sugar and the blue sugar um, oil. This is just their cuticle oil, Miracle Growth. You can put this on your cuticles when your hands are like this, or I like to, since we can't wear nail polish at work, when I take this off tomorrow, I wash my hands real good, do a hand scrub, and then I start rubbing it on my nails because I have trouble with peeling nails. And if I leave my nails alone and just let them grow, like say I let them grow about two or three times this length and cut them, sometimes that helps whatever my peeling issue is. Other times it doesn't because my nail tips are dry. When we're at work, we're punching out meds and I have a lot of hits and dings to the tips of my nails all the time. So this look right here um, will look better later because I did it not too long ago. 
and I left right when my nails were dry but you can see all of that inside of there will be washed out like when I wash dishes and take a shower but I won't be able to keep this on sadly for work and that is it guys I do believe that's all that I got so if you're into nail stamping or just polish cleanup give these cuticle guards a try for a while there for years we were getting um that latex stuff off of Amazon I think it actually holds things in place to like your the lady that that advertised some had an outfit on and she had tassels on her bosom and that helped but I can't imagine putting that there because when you put it on your skin it doesn't hurt but you're pulling it off so I can't imagine putting it in a sensitive area but that's it guys that's all that I got so until the next time everyone have a great day